When you're heading to the shooting range, whether you're preparing for a hunt, just plinking for fun, or you're a guy that shoots in competition, there's a, just a lot of different things that I think people should keep in mind to make them fun. For us, when it's uh, getting ready for a hunting situation, we're taking first time hunters, we're taking seasoned veterans that have never used uh, whatever means or method they're getting ready to go shoot. We wanna rig them out and put them in a situation where they're gonna find success. So they've got confidence in both their ability and the equipment, as well as what that gun is gonna do when they pull the trigger. When you look at targets, let's just start there. Uh, I love the Birchwood Casey targets that have dots or squares that I can pull off and put it over the bullet impacts. I love the fact that I've got multiple uh, spots on the target on, on a lot of the models to be able to have different aiming places so that if we're shooting with different people, like say you shoot the upper left, you shoot the lower right, uh, and the targets can handle a lot of different shots. But to me, at the end of the day, the most important thing is that feedback those targets give you. You can see where the bullet hole is, whether you're shooting a 22 or a 500. I mean, it just gives you great instant information. Shooting is fun, you want it to be fun. You want good feedback, you wanna see where you're hitting, and you wanna be able to have a target that's gonna be durable and last for a long time. And that's one thing that Birchwood Casey has built a foundation on. In addition to the targets, as you back up, let's say where you're shooting from. Shooting off a rest, you know, obviously it's the most important way to be able to get your gun zeroed in. You're gonna have a stable rest, you're gonna have a good platform, uh, you're gonna be able to hold the gun consistently in the same spot, so it's really just on you and your trigger pull at that point as you're dialing in your scope. I think it's important in a lot of shooting situations to have a great gun rest, whether I'm shooting a handgun off of a small portable rest or I'm shooting a rifle off a bigger, heavier sled style type shooting rest. Both of those give you balance, give you control, give you stability so that you can ensure that your zero is good. It's not gonna help you when you get out in the field control your nerves, but if you know the gun is good when you leave the range, it's certainly a confidence building factor. For new shooters, shooting off of a, a weighted, heavy duty sled style rest to me is really key. A lot of new hunters are they're intimidated by their firearm, they're intimidated by the recoil, they're even scared of the recoil, the bang that it's gonna have, all of those things, and you're trying to comfort them. And when you put a gun in a sled like that and you secure it and you get everything dialed in, there's so much, there's minimal recoil. And of course you're wearing hearing protection all the time while you're doing that too. And it builds confidence because once you get out in the field, all of us know you, you rarely ever feel the recoil or hear the gun go off while you're in a hunting situation because you're so focused on the animal, but you've built that confidence at the range prior to that hunting experience. I think when you look at accessories and you look at shooting targets, you look at rest, you look at anything that's going to make the experience better. It's, it's good for new shooters, new hunters, young kids, uh, all the way to your seasoned vets because the great feedback, the comfort, the confidence that having all the right products, I believe it really makes for a better experience all the way around.